Fan, if we were going to get a seven minute lesson from you on writing a screenplay, so I've never written a screenplay before, but I had this movie idea. Can you help me write that screenplay in seven minutes? <laughs> Not the actual screenplay in seven oh, minutes, but in seven instruct minutes? me on how. Um, Man, uh, you know, I'm not one an authority, but if I had to, if someone, if I was asking myself that when I was starting, what, what would what would I say to my younger self um, in seven minutes how to start this? Um, what I would I would first off see what's the story, what's the, what's the genre, and, and and why do you want to tell it? In three words. Give me three words about the story. It could be just three three words, revenge. Um, another word. So we'll we'll start with those words. Then give me a character. Who do you want in the character? Then I'll go ask. Okay, where does this take place? Um, get the character. What's the character's job? What does that person do? And what does that character want to do? And then. Develop the world, develop the character, and why do you want to tell that story? And we'll start from there and then go out, go back, and then just even if it's one page or two page or three pages, um, write something about what this character does in that world, what their job and what, what, what they want to do. And then once you have that, then we could flesh it out a little bit more. And then, then maybe, like you said, start an outline um, what, what, what do they need? What's their obstacles? Um, and, and then we add more characters in. But I, I would probably start with um, who, the, who the main character is and, um, and the world they're in. So then just quickly, I'll give you my character is a waitress at a greasy spoon diner off route whatever in Texas. Okay. She's 40. Um, she makes decent wages there. It's not really an exciting job, but the owner of a local plant has said, I will make a deal with you. And that deal is, I want you to listen to what my employees say when I'm not there and you're going to report back and I'm going to put you on payroll. Okay. All right. seems like there's a lot of conflict. There's some sort of like moral, uh, you know, dilemma as well. And you got a character on... Um, and then, what, and then you could explore, explore that, explore the routes of, is she a good-hearted waitress? Is she, does she want to become the owner of this, take out the boss? Or does she want to fight for who's, who's doing, who um, they're listening into? Um, so there's different routes in that. So it starts to, what's, what's the, 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 the makeup of this or, or hero or or protagonist because they could be like the Joker. He's you know he he didn't have to be the best guy, but um what 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 was this person doing? And so at least you have you have that and you have that to start and then, um, and then throw throw a couple obstacles and then and see what happens you know, uh, because it could lead somewhere else because you're just you just have an idea you don't have it yet yet formed so. Run with it. Run with something. Run with a direction and, and maybe write it, um, and then th that might spur spur something forward. Hence, time back to the daydreaming because you don't know what it could lead because you're saying, "Oh, actually, she's doing this because she wants to get to New York," and because you know why? Because she she um, her her uh, you know um, she gave up a, a daughter. And now that she wants to, you know, she wants to go see that because she only has six months left to live, and she wants to make peace with that daughter, and and tell her things that she she wished that someone told her. Something I like, like that. it. So that's just that's the association disconnect, and you could, you could go, okay, is that the story you want to tell, or, you know, or do you want a a, a a you know a drama, or do you want it a. Um, a genre, a horror film. So, so you stick stick to that. And that that's where it'll lead. And what was the last part? I'm asking myself, why do I want to write this? Yeah, why? Why? I think you should also ask why. Why do you want to write this? What like? It's a question where 
because it's going to drive drive the narrative because um, it's that that's the question and the answer is your your screenplay because it's it's I think there's something in that film that you crown to create that you're trying to investigate. So why do you want to write this? What's going on? Are you trying to talk about um, unrequited love? Are you going to try to talk about, um, you know, haunted past? Or are you going to try to talk about, you know, uh, a, w a new li way out, a new living, you know, hope and things like that? So why do you want to talk about that? And it generally has to do with sometimes what you're, what's happening in your life you know, right now, and it's because it's easier to, because you could feel like, oh, I feel like, I want to talk about anxiety, the loss of jobs, the, the, the loss of the economy, me, being a new um, homeowner, uh, not knowing if I can make that. How could I synthesize that feeling into the script of this girl in the diner? How to get that feeling anxiety in there, what she's going through, you know? So that's how it would kind of help usher it along. And then just write your first draft and come with an image. You already got the image, diner. Maybe the opening shot is a bottle of ketchup. Who knows? And, and it falls on the floor. And she picks it up and sweeps it away. And then that could be an image, a theme that, could, that you could hold on to throughout, um, you know, sparingly. So you're not totally spoon-feeding the audience of, why is that a ketchup? Is she part of the Hunt's family? Who knows, you know? Do I know the ending? <laughs> um, Do I need to know it? What if you write three endings, put in a hat and pick one, and then and go from there? Hmm. So if a lot of times I think, for me, I have problems deciding. So if, if there's a course already set, and you know you have a couple of different things, you could try it, but then if it's a course you don't like, you revere back. Sort of like maybe that's what I do in my life. It's like I'll try it. If I don't like it, I'll veer back. You know, so that's sort of like a, that process of for me for writing. I'll, I'll go down on the road. Oh, oh my gosh, that dialect's too cheesy. I don't need that character. I don't need to talk to the other waitress. I needed to talk to the mailman that came and gave her a package that came from New York, you know, or something like that. You know. So then the three alternate endings could be she makes her money, she leaves that town, she doesn't look back, she sees her daughter, she tells her I'm sorry. Um, she has a sense of peace, the daughter has a sense of peace. The other end ending could be she meets a good-looking drifter and he's a smooth talker and he says, darling, I want to take you to New York. I want to see mama meet her baby. And they go, she packs. He says, hang on, I'm gonna get smokes at this gas station. He robs it, she doesn't know that. She's in the car, now she's an accomplice. He gets arrested, she gets arrested, she goes to prison. She dies there. Third, she's too scared to go. The daughter says, I don't, don't come. And she ends up staying at this diner and um, Nothing much happens to her, and she just kind of stews in the regret. Yeah, those are great. Great great three things, see? So, with even with that, we just spitballed in two or three minutes and just write it. A lot of times, we'll just sit there and wait for two months or three months. Oh, this is not working. I got to research this. I got to do that. But if you stick to those feelings, I'm already thinking about the girl. Oh, what if she came? to the diner finally and then you know like and just different things so that's what happened that's sort of what happens and you kind of like go with it but you never like know that. where it goes unless um you try it so yeah that's good if she shows up yeah so right why'd you give me up you know right then you have that awesome or it could be really like that you know scene from the wrestler wrestler when when she she uh, the daughter comes and talks to Mickey Rourke and that powerful exchange of like, well you know things like that. So right, or it could be a thriller that she comes back and poisons her. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> yeah. I like it. Now I want to write this thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's good. That helped. I liked the throwing the three things in there and then some of the other ideas. I wouldn't have thought about the daughter in New York. Oh, you know, that's, that's the, so now when you do that, when you, that's the fun part, when you start, then you read it out loud, then you're like, oh, it, things open up, you know, like, so that's why I think it's important to not be holding to what you've done, you know, because it's like, you should feel really good that you've already wrote it, it's out there, but if that scene needs to go, it needs to go, and a new one could be born. That's a, that's the whole thing, and not be so precious with with these scenes because, um, I think that's I think that's the scary part because you, well, at least for me, I'll talk about me again. Sometimes you feel like you can't do it, like it won't be as good, or it just it won't work, or it's, it's you haven't thought about it, you know, because it takes a lot of work. You know? Yeah, and you brought up stuff that I wasn't thinking of, and so and then I I liked it better you know, like, what you brought up and 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 you brainstorm, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the title of this? Of uh, the, um, let's see, I love titles. Um, that's the hardest, that's, that's one that kind of, uh, what, what do you feel the title should be? Waiting, I'm, that might be too cliche, sorry. But it's also, it's not just what she does, but uh -huh. her daughter is waiting for an answer. Yeah. She's waiting to start her life. So, as cliche as it sounds, there's many meanings to that. Yeah, I probably would. It takes me longer with the with the title because that would that's sort of what would would drive would drive it. Um, could be, you know, is it more about the daughter or the mom? Good question. So, you know, right. I think it's more about the mom. Yeah, so, so pick her middle name and then... Jolene. She's That's a southern it. gal. She's a southern belle. Maybe she won a beauty contest when she was younger, but she got stuck in this town. And Jolene sounds great. Yeah. That, I think that's a good, good sounding name. Or you could, and then you could add... Um, or you could, as you as you go, um, maybe it's a letter that the t uh, uh, a phrase, a letter that she she had slipped for the baby whenever she had, or something like that. Or maybe maybe it's both of their names, Jolene and uh, Jolene and Izzy. You know, I like that. Who, so maybe it's about both of them. So and then you couple them up, like Thelma and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have them drive off the cliff. Sure. Right. And then there's a Brad Pitt character, too. Yeah. Gotta yeah. have that one. You gotta have that. <laughs> and a dancing scene. Every great movie has a dancing scene. That's true, scene. yeah. And every 80s movie had a great singing scene. 